Greetings, 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 everyone. Dr. Akina Finch is here. We are so excited to be starting week four. Uh, we will be on at 7 p.m. Central as well. But today, right now, we are going to be interviewing, of course, Amber Aziza. So we will just wait till she comes in. And we're going to do a little sharing while we're waiting on that. We are excited to have her for sure. Yes, yes, yes. There she is. Oh. Hi. Hello, Amber. Hi, how are you? I am great. How are you? We just get I'm good. Getting this thing shared out for all of us. Yes. Hello, hello. Yes. So how how are you today, Amber? I am all right. I am all right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little cold here in London, so I'm all bundled up. Yeah, so I know a lot of people are like, why are we doing this live like right now? Well, guess what? Amber's <laughs> in London. And it would have been like one or two o'clock in the morning for her yes. to do it at the normal time. <laughs> so, you know, we're not trying to abuse the keynote speaker. So we're going to do it <laughs> early in the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, thank you so much for being able to fit us into your schedule, Miss Amber. I appreciate you greatly. Of course, of course. Thanks for having me. Oh, it is always my pleasure. And so, with that being said, tell us about Amber Aziza. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, so, I am Amber Aziza. Uh, I am a millennial and um, a business strategist who has claimed to fame is that I built and sold my first two businesses uh, in multi-million dollar deals before I turned 30. Uh, my belief is that if you can make a dollar, you can make a million of them. You just need the right guidance and someone who's done it before to help you out. Uh, I currently own and operate seven businesses and I have a diverse portfolio of businesses going all the way from collection agency to recruiting firm. Um, and I also help entrepreneurs who want to grow their businesses. And I have an awesome dream team of coaches of which Dr. Finch is on, uh, who all help entrepreneurs, small business owners, and career professionals live the lives that they desire. So I do all of that while traveling the world. <laughs> and, uh, and right now I'm in London and it's very cold compared to probably Nashville. And um, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> well, we... That, that's that's wonderful. I mean, you know, I have told a lot of people about our keynote speaker, and, you know, they are so excited to meet such an accomplished woman, especially at your age. And it is just wonderful to see how much you've done and how much of an inspiration you are to so many people. So I wanted Aww. to say that to you. And then, of course, the A Square coach, like they said, you are amazing, Amber. Yes, yes, Amber <laughs> is amazing. She, is, she definitely is. And so, when I, you are the keynote speaker for the yeah. Social Power Summit, and yeah. and you were a no brainer. And uh, for those who don't know the story, I'm going to tell it now. Um, Amber um, did a post last year about uh, a certain in, uh, a certain entity. We'll say that, and <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people, uh, you know, she had a lot of friends that were in this arena, but none of them looked like her, meaning no women yeah. of color. And you know, she was like. I'm glad that my friends got on, but it saddens me that no one looks like me. No one uh, is representing like I'm representing. And then to make it even sweeter, she then 
uh, tagged six women that she thought should be on the post and should represent, you know, because they are representing very well in the social media community. And of course, oh, I was one of them, right? So <laughs> I was driving when this was happening and my phone went berserk. And all of these women just were back to back. Yes, I don't, I'm tired of not being represented. I'm tired of not being seen. I'm tired of uh, no one seeing what I do. And to my knowledge, the entity did not answer you back. Oh, no, no, they didn't answer me back. And in fact, they doubled down the next year of having the event. And it was like, whereas before they had had like at least a black male and I think a couple of Asian presenters. This year, they were like, we're not going to have any of it. Like, it was like just Snow White on that presentation page. And I thought, something's got to give, y'all. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, that fuels me. I just want to let you know. That was the reason for the social power summit. That was the final straw. Because I'm women need to be seen and heard for what they're doing. And then especially women of color on top of that. And that's why the Social Power Summit is a platform for women of color, women in STEM, and of course people people of color in social media to come and have a platform to be seen because they are not being represented properly. You know, you see these big ticket of uh, $1,300, $1,400 uh, events, and you may see one of us, if that. And I'm sorry, but there's plenty of us that's making more money than that mm -hmm. on a, you know, on an hourly basis doing social media that should be on that platform. And so when you brought that to the light, and all those women responded, it was just a no-brainer. So I want to thank you for being the catalyst for this <laughs> event. Oh, no problem. Thanks for taking the initiative. Yes. And you know, I I know it may be on the smaller end this year because people, are, it's new. You know, people got to right. fill it out. But next year, I hope to double, if not triple it, because people Absolutely. need to know that this is a platform for them to excel and to grow. And that's, and people are like, so why do you have uh, these speakers? I said, please keep in mind the three of them are panels. Okay. Please keep in mind <laughs> that, you know, not everybody is getting ready to get hit the stage, to, you know, one on one. So you're not going to be that inundated, but it was a way for, to do the diversity and inclusion and completely flip the script. Absolutely. 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 And so I am so excited that you're going to be a part. So as a keynote, I know that you were going to be uh, speaking. I do. I believe our topic is from foster care to millionaire and talking about uh, how then in turn social media uh, was a pivotal part of your business growth. So what are your thoughts on social media and business growth, um, please? I think that they go hand in hand, honestly. I have so many corporate clients that they really often say, you know, well, what are we missing? What are we missing in our, our kind of our marketing strategy? And, and the number one thing that I usually say that they're missing is really mastering social media properly. Um, everyone thinks, oh, well, I have a Twitter account or I have a Facebook account. I've got my Pinterest account, I've got my LinkedIn account. I think that just having the account and posting here or there isn't enough. You really need to learn how to leverage those social media platforms so that you can gain clients from it, so that you can have the exposure you need uh, to get to where you want to be. So I do believe that social media and uh, business growth go hand in hand. And if you don't have that social media component mastered, where you understand which platforms your audience is on, when you understand what time of day they're on and what their voice sounds like, when you understand what things they're going to be able or wanting to actually engage with, when you understand that and master that, that is when you then see your business grow and accelerate because it's it's hand in hand. The more people that see you, the more people that are aware of you, the more people that are in alignment with your business, the more people that you're going to sell to. 
Wonderful. And that is the part that we really want to address because there's a lot of people that's like, oh, I don't need that. You know, that's just something my kids do or it's not really that important. But mm -hmm. it also is because uh, businesses go to your LinkedIn page before they fool with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. They'll go to your LinkedIn page. They'll check out your Facebook page. They'll look at your Twitter account. They'll check out what kind of pictures you have on Instagram. I mean, people often think, well, I went into business for myself, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And it's like, no, the same things that they do to vet their employees, trust and believe they do to vet any kind of partners or any kind of uh any kind of vendors that they sign on, they're doing all of those same things that they do to vet their employees. We actually want, <clears throat> we actually had a client a couple of months ago that we just signed on and they're a corporate client, Fortune 500 organization. And when we were filling out the contract, they actually had a section in it where they required us to put everyone who would be touching the project and their social media handles because they wanted to look into them. They wanted to be able to see that everyone that was going to be associated with this project, that if anything should happen um, on the personal front on their social media, that they were already ahead of it and they already knew. So they're checking those things out. They want to know if you're sitting there telling them, oh, I can help you grow and expand your business, and only three people know who you are on social media. That's the only oh. proof that they have that people know who you are. If no one's engaging with what you, with your stuff, your social media, think of it like a walking testimonial for you, a growing, living, breathing organism that regularly updates that says how awesome you are that people can find, right? Because I can go to your website and see your testimony and see, you know, all the people who say they worked with you. And I can hope that those people are real people. And you might even provide a link where I can click and see that those people are real people. But the reality is, guys, that if I can go somewhere where people are actively saying, Dr. Finch is amazing, where I can see that person's profile, I can see what kind of people are liking you, I can be able to see if your fans are going to match my fans, I can actually determine your social scope, I can see that living, breathing organism that says you're amazing and you're the best at what you do. That is always going to have way more impact on a partner, a client, uh, sponsors, that's always going to have way more impact on them than what you post on your website. Trust, they, they want to see the website. They think it's cute. But if they can't find anything online on social that's going to back up those amazing things that people said on your website that you typed out, boo, they're not going to go with you. They want to see that there's other people out there saying you're amazing. And you know, one thing I have noticed is that the testimonials that I put on my webpage, they come directly from my LinkedIn site. Mm -hmm. So they can go directly over there and see the walk-in testimony. And that's why I encourage people, if they're going to put anything about me online, to go on LinkedIn because it shows their title, their credentials, their all that, so that they can then click on it and see, you know, and double check. You know, mm -hmm. I love that piece. And so I let people know, hey, you did a testimony on me on LinkedIn. I'm going to add it to my website. Is that okay? You know, you always ask. I mean, but they wouldn't have done it if it wasn't because all their stuff is over there. But exactly. I think that that is an important tool for a lot of people to use. Absolutely. We have started actually uh, reaching out to our clients and saying, so, hey, instead of sending us that awesome review via yes, email, yes. can you send and us so that review via LinkedIn? And so, Amber, um, yes. I was thinking that, you know, you have uh -oh. such an empowering story. Can, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have such an empowering story. And, you know, uh, of course, the title is From Foster Care to Millionaire. What are some of the mm -hmm. things that you suggest that people do to help them head in the millionaire uh, status, especially with their social media? 
You know, I think I would say focus on the quality, not the quantity. Um, too many people get caught up in how many people follow you, like saying like, oh, well, I need to hit 10,000 people on Instagram to be taken seriously. or I need to hit 5,000 friends on Facebook for anybody to pay attention to me. And that's just not true. I built my first multimillion dollar business um, and I... I had the connections I needed on LinkedIn. It's all, to me, it was all about who was following me, not about how many people were following me. Um, and so that's really important. I think the other thing um, to focus on is making sure your content is attracting the right people. Let me tell you, I have wasted thousands of dollars in marketing money where I was trying to attract who I thought were the right people, but they weren't. Um, and so make sure you know genuinely who it is that you're trying to target so that when you are creating content that's organic content, that it is really speaking to them, that they're like, oh, this is my best friend in my head. You don't know how many times I get told when people meet me out in public or when they see me at an event, and they'll say, oh my gosh, you're like my best friend in my head. Or I'll have people's husbands come up to me and be like, you're Amber Ziza, right? My wife is obsessed with you. Like, those things are because I created environment online on my social media that is a, hey girl, hey, like we're in this together. And that's the voice that my audience resonates with. If I sounded super corporate-y, they probably wouldn't be feeling me as much as they do. Um, and then third, make sure you're really focusing on where your audience is. So not just saying, I'm gonna be on all social media platforms. Focus on the social media platforms that matter. My first multi-million dollar business focused on corporations. So for me to have a massive Facebook presence wouldn't have made any sense at all. But I shifted and focused on having a pretty massive LinkedIn presence. With our other businesses, they are all B2C, so business to consumer. Um, and so for us, we spend a lot of time on Facebook, on Instagram. We spend a lot of time retweeting on Twitter and connecting with people on LinkedIn because all of our consumers are all over those places, but our specific demographics use those the most. When we had a project that focused solely on Zillennials, so those who are uh, born in 2000 and, and until now, uh, when we had a project focused on them, we shifted our focus on, to Snapchat and spent a lot of time on the Snap. So it's really all about understanding where your audience is and that's how you grow you know, your business and into multi figures is the ability to understand the audience, know where they are, have a voice that they resonate with, and be able to master social media. Whew. That was awesome tips. And you know, <laughs> because, you know, they get inundated with a lot of things. And you know, right. I come from social media, from the techie aspect. And so I know that when I get to talking, I do overwhelm a lot of people. I get it. <laughs> but <laughs> and that is like easy uh tools to know hey make sure you know where your audience is make sure that uh you know they are resonating with what you're saying and then i also would like to throw in the fact that you know make sure that the content is serving them a lot of times mm -hmm. people sit up there and uh put in uh, things that they want to see and that's not necessarily what their audience wants to see mm -hmm. so and that shows that you're not paying attention to your audience you need to show and serve content that's going to make them say i need that right now and you'll mm -hmm. see and check you'll see the change of engagement you'll see the change in uh your follow-up and follow through so that's another one and I know that we're growing, uh, coming to a close, but I definitely have to ask you the question that I've asked all of the speakers. Tell me why you're a part of the Social Power Summit. You know, I love any platform that's going to uplift people of color and help them grow and accelerate their business. But with this specific conference, Dr. Finch has done such an amazing job of bringing together uh, well-known folks with some folks that you may not have heard of, but are still killing it in the game. And I think that it's going to be such a pivotal conference for those who attend uh, in their business. I think, you know, every every entrepreneur who's built their business into a million dollars and beyond has that one moment, that one event that they went to that they're like, that's where I got it. And I feel like this event with just the information you're going to learn about social media and how to accelerate your business leveraging it, I think this will be that event where people, you know, a year from now will be like, that, that's where I 
figured it all out. That's where I understood how to grow and accelerate my business. So I think it's just, you're getting so much knowledge. You're getting so many experts. You're getting amazing, amazing content. Um, and you're getting to meet some really dope people. And I think that that in itself is, is just amazing. But the fact that your business is going to grow as a result, that's going to be the cherry on the Sunday. Yeah, so we have a question, where, when is the event? So the event is in Nashville, Tennessee on September 14th and 15th. Uh, you can go and get everything at the socialpowersummit.com. Today is actually the last day to get your room on the room block. So if you uh, need a room, definitely uh, send me a message and we can make that happen. And of course... We'll have the lovely Amber Aziza uh, there giving her keynote now. And we are also having, um, you know, we, so we want you to come out and hear her wonderful story, hear, uh, hear the nuggets that she's only sharing with the group. You know, she only gave you all a taste. I, just please know that. She only gave you a taste of what she's getting ready to serve in her hour keynote, just so you know. So. If that, if what you were served here, that taste inspired you, then you need to definitely come to the Social Power Summit. So Amber, please give us your final words and of course where they can find you if they don't already know by now, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so my final word is do this, guys. You guys need to be in the room. You need this for your business. And who better to teach you how to build your business as a person of color than other people of color who built their businesses into six, seven, eight figures. So you definitely need that. If you want to follow me, I am Amber underscore Aziza everywhere, IG, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. And uh, you can reach me at amberaziza.com. That's where all of my info is. You can learn more about our businesses and more about me. Yes. So, I mean... You have been graced by one of the best. So I am <laughs> so excited that I was able to get you on the line today and to be able to interview and for you to be able to share your knowledge with these people because, you know, at the end of the day, you have done it. And you are <laughs> living testimony that it can be done. So when people are thinking, oh, I can't do this right now, my business is this, my business is that, they can look at you and see that it happened. And it happened early at that. It, did. it happened, <laughs> you know, because through your tenacity and your dedication, uh, spell your, uh, oh, her last name, A-Z-I-Z-A. -Z -A. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you are a living testimony. And I just want to thank you so much for being a part of the Social Power Summit and for all you do for the community at large. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was my pleasure. And then, of course, tonight at 7 o'clock Central, we are going to have our another speaker, Joyce Gilmer. So please come in and join us then as well. And please share this out. Let people know about Amber and all that she does. And then please follow her because she is cutting edge on many, many, many topics you would be surprised at what you're going to learn from this young lady. So until next time, my friends. <laughs>